still in Denmark, Copenhagen, in the King's Garden now with Christopher. Uh, to present yourself, can you say again your name, how, how old are you at, and what are you doing? Yeah, uh, my name is Christopher, uh, I'm uh, 35 years old and uh, well, I'm, I work with some kind of writing uh, newsletters and stuff uh, for different companies, sometimes I write articles, which is more interesting, but less stable. Sometimes I wrote poetry, which is even more interesting, but makes no money at all. And, and I draw and paint and okay, also it. don't make much money that way. <laughs> uh, okay, the first question is, which do you think is the biggest problem of the world? Oh, that's one of the big questions. Well, I think you could say that the biggest problem of the world is humans. Uh, you could say that in two ways. One way is because um, most of the really big problems we have in the world, those that can actually destroy everything, these problems are made by humans. And uh, you could also say that uh, we humans are those who really worry about the problems and if we didn't worry, there wouldn't be any problems. So you, you could say that uh, in both ways, actually, and I think there is a point in seeing them both you, ways. You say, you're saying that the problems are only because humans look like problems? Or? Uh, well, uh, to have a problem, you, you need to see, have someone who thinks to itself. Uh, okay, uh, okay yeah. yeah, it's okay. Now, uh, I think... Uh, you could say uh, back when uh, when the, the dinosaurs uh, they disappeared. Uh, well, the, did they? Was that a problem, or was it just something that happened? I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, things are only problems uh, if you worry about it. But on the other hand, uh, I think it's right to worry about things. It's not because I think that hey, we should just stop worrying because. Uh, uh, well, I don't. I don't want us to destroy the world. <laughs> I, I, I so, if you worry, then you conclude that humans are the problem. Yeah, I, uh, I think yeah, we are the problem because we worry. But also, when when I worry uh, and I see what uh, what are the actual problems, that's mostly caused by humans. That well, uh, the way humans treat each other, uh, of course. Uh, uh, all the interns and also environmental problems are caused by humans. Or which could be the solution? Eliminate the humans? <laughs> well, uh, that would be a solution, of course. Uh, but uh, sometimes uh, you can always find solutions. But the question is, do you want... Maybe the solution is worse uh, than the problem. It's like if you have a broken leg, uh, what can you do with that? Hey, you can cut it off. You don't have a broken leg anymore, but that's not a solution you would want. You would actually see you, you would prefer to have a, uh, two legs that are working. So if we can, uh, and I think it's the, sa the same here. Mm -hmm. Of course, if if we if the entire humanity yeah. killed themselves, it would solve a lot of problems. There was a philosopher, a very pessimistic philosopher. Uh, I have forgot his name, who actually think thought that someday the entire humanity would come to the conclusion that they should kill themselves. <laughs> and that's some kind of a solution. It's not a solution I would want. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's solution uh, to be... Uh, well, uh, uh, it's, oh, it's so hard to be very specific because uh, in some way I'm very pessimistic. Uh, to say I think it's hard to find solution. But another way I'm very optimistic because I actually think most people want to find some solutions uh, and well information communication uh, uh, trying to uh, learn from uh, whatever errors we have made uh, sometimes we can look we can look back at history and we can look at things that have been done and learn from that and say hey we shouldn't do that again uh, well one once very specific point is like, uh, uh, well, uh, when you see uh, the way some humans treat each other, a lot of race, racism, xenophobia, well, we can look 
not so many years back uh, what happens uh, in, in Germany in World War II, II and say, hey, this is how bad it could go. Uh, I think we, we don't want uh, that to happen, do we? Then, then we should try and do something against xenophobia and race, racism before something like that happens again. Mm -hmm. History is there, we can read history, it's, uh, it's there to teach us a lesson, I think we should be... Uh, you personally, do you think you can do something uh, to collaborate in the solution of this problem? Yeah, I hope so. I think um, to, uh, to make some solutions it's necessary that uh, everybody says or believe that, that they can do something because uh, on the other hand everybody would just sit back and say, I can't do anything, I won't do anything. Uh, it's a very, well, it's a delicate balance because you can also go on and worry all the time and then you will never have a life and maybe you will never do anything as such. I think, well, uh, it might sound like, like a very little thing, but uh, just trying to be a, uh, a decent person, uh, be a, a nice person to each other, behave responsible and uh, have a life where where that's uh, uh, that's a part of it, and then hope that it will spread to others. Because, mm -hmm. and also, I think one th one thing I try to do. Uh, it's not me who invented it, but <laughs> uh, I'm t sometimes I'm trying to behave a bit like Socrates, the old Greek philosopher who said that he knew nothing, but at least he knew that he knew nothing, and he tried to question everybody who had the right solution and the dogma and I think that's a very important thing to do always to reflect about things hey is this the right thing or uh, not to be too sure and my very humble way of contributing to a better world is well I try and uh, when I meet people and talk to them to uh, to try and see if I can make them see things different and I hope that they can make me think, see things yeah. different too. Try to stay open and uh, try to stay open and try to uh, make other people stay open too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting.